Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 18th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets, certainly um, uh, gone into a... Uh, a severe risk-off mode at present. You have the FTSE down almost 1.6% in the back of Theresa May calling a snap general election. Again, I'm not too sure why that's very bearish. Also, you had commodities certainly weaker overnight with iron ore. Copper certainly feeling the pressure, but again, I'm not too sure why that is given the fact that Chinese economic data certainly beat over the weekend. So very, very impressive uh, data. Well, not very impressive, but certainly impressive enough to keep commodities afloat. Okay, yes, we do know that uh, there are supply concerns with regards to crude oil. Um, but having said that, that's neutralised by the fact that we have Mr. Trump, obviously, with his weaker dollar policy. Now, whether or not Mr. Mnuchin has certainly negated that, given the fact that he did argue for a stronger dollar, uh, and uh, certainly has may well have negated Mr. Trump's, uh, obviously, weak dollar policy. So, uh, again, uh, it's interesting, interesting to uh, see exactly how we respond, especially given the fact that Asian markets are in, on a Monday, certainly, uh, especially US markets, shook off the weakness. Uh, shook off the weakness from a um, from a uh, fundamental perspective. Uh, the uh, S and P 500 certainly thrusting higher. I actually got stopped out of my short S and P 500 trade yesterday as well. You can see here, 60 minute chart. We broke out the bearish channel. Very very impressive thrust. 10 minute chart certainly pushed as high as uh, 23.50. So almost a uh, uh, a 20. Uh, handle move off the pivot low of 23.30 so very very impressive move there shaking off the weakness but yet that's failed to transpire into European indices Asian markets overnight Nikkei finished higher but the uh, Shanghai finished down 0.8% again so again uh, also although uh, even having said that we also have North Korea the new, the concerns with regards to Mr. Pence certainly uh, uh, indicating that uh, the uh, the actual uh, uh, geopolitical tension certainly will ease uh, Russia and Syria and America certainly has eased as well <coughs> China certainly not labeled a um, currency manipulator <coughs> excuse me China not obviously uh, rate uh, well, certainly uh, accused of being a currency manipulator again again that certainly helps the cause as well so from my perspective a lot of arguments were, were certainly being uh, put forth in terms of the uh, market certainly being uh, uh, bullish going into uh, Tuesday's trading session, especially given the fact that you, you, European markets had to play catch up to the rally in the US markets, also Asian markets as well, and stronger Chinese data over the weekend, and yet we've failed to do so. Again, snap general election called uncertainty, not so much, uh, the way in which I understand it, uh, because uh, uh, you have uh, Theresa May with almost a 20 point lead over Labour, so there's no real uh, political uncertainty. If anything, there's more certainty given the fact that she, her bargaining position or her, uh, her ability to bargain is much stronger given the fact that she's certainly in power. So, from my understanding, um, I think this is a buying opportunity, and I'm certainly going long at this uh, at present, and certainly looking for the market to move off the highs, off the lows, should I say, and, and pivot towards a high. In terms of economic data today and this morning, nothing really other than Theresa May. Okay, we have housing stocks, building permits, a red book index. We have. Uh, global dairy auction from uh, New Zealand, industrial production, and then we have the API stock data in the in the evening. So for my understanding so far, market bias should certainly remain and maintain bullish, okay? In terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX, see exactly where we stand here, German daily. Okay, we are now coming into that potential gap fill. We've almost hit gap fill at 12.015, so bias certainly remains bullish at this juncture. 60-minute chart, you're certainly closing that gap there, as you can see. Okay, so again into support now, looking to potentially bounce from here. So German DAX certainly into gap fill, and therefore one would argue that you are looking to move higher. 10 minute chart at the moment has hit that pivot S3 level. Okay, certainly sold off quite sharply as soon as we close that gap. Market went into a risk off mode, certainly has remained there ever since. Okay, we do have previous resistance equal support, so watch out here. You have horizontal support below as well at 12.015. Okay, so certainly looking to pop here from a technical perspective. Moving on to the French CAC now. The French CAC, obviously, the uh, political uncertainty going into the election on the uh, weekend on Sunday certainly is weighing on the index. We have retraced FIB 75% in the daily chart, so therefore one would argue a bullish bias from here. Horizontal support as well, so therefore one would argue a bullish bias from here. Also, you have an unfilled gap left behind as well. Bear in mind there's a gap at 5100, therefore I wouldn't argue that you're pivot, pivoting towards that. You do have resistance at 5035 and then obviously resistance at 5065. So certainly looking for a potential short squeezing. FTSE 100 really is the index that's been absolutely hammered and to my extent, 
Now, yes, you've broken out the rising contracting wedge pattern, but no real fundamental argument for it to do so, especially given the fact that you had stronger Chinese data. Yes, sterling certainly has rallied, so sterling certainly is is helping to a large well so not, not helping but, but is, a, is that a detriment uh, the index is at a detriment due to the actual rally in sterling okay because it's been interpreted as uh, as certainty and therefore obviously if you reduce you know, uncertainty uh, the uh, the actual currency moves higher and that's exactly what we're observing at the moment so obviously the inverse relationship between the sterling and the FTSE certainly exists and that's what we're seeing play out at the moment but I do think it's it's certainly been overdone here so therefore one would argue for a potential bounce here uh, is very very likely hence the reason why you're seeing the FTSE 100 as well if you move over to the daily chart the FTSE 100 you're certainly into horizontal support here now at uh, 7 uh, 200 certainly solid solid support on the daily chart 60 minute chart at the moment you've certainly exceeded the uh, the actual uh, weakness period or the bearish period from my perspective again 7 200 is support you've exceeded pivot s3 so therefore obviously is extremely extremely oversold okay uh, 10 minute charts extremely oversold so certainly everything is indicating to me is a buying opportunity so certainly looking for a potential uh, buying opportunity here for a potential pullback and a retracement especially given the fact that we've uh, certainly left that gap up uh, above okay so certainly keep an eye on that on the FTSE from that perspective okay looking at other uh, indexes in terms of the FTSE itself let's just quickly go over the euro stocks now uh, euro stocks on the daily chart first and foremost we've certainly flushed back into horizontal support now uh, let's see if we can hold this diagonal trend line but certainly back into that gap fill key support region 60 minute chart certainly is into horizontal support at seven at three four one five so certainly looking for a pop here any pop at the moment will be it will face resistance at three four fifty so watch out there in terms of the 10 minute chart you certainly have gap fill above at uh, 3470 resistance at a pivot high today at 3460 and then previous support equals resistance at 3440 so watch out for those potential zones as well okay so certainly an interesting scenario let's see exactly how the market unfolds in terms of uh, theresa may calling for a general election in june okay uh, sterling certainly is into resistance foot seed into support let's see if those levels hold on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.